Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Grace. And, and together, together we are California, California Travel Videos and, and Beyond. Hey, Garmin. Directions to Medora, North Dakota. Going to Medora, North Dakota. 252 miles east. Are you clicky? You ready to go? Let's go. Good morning from Billings, Montana. This is where we have been the last couple of days, and this morning we thank you for joining us as we head to Medora. It's a small town there in North Dakota. It's at the entrance point on the south to the Theodore Roosevelt Park. Um, I did look last night to see if I could get us in. It was a little different than most of the parks because it did talk about day passes, and then it did talk about if you have your senior pass, it's not applicable to you. But I couldn't find a way to get passes without paying the $30. So I'm going to look at that a little closer today and see if we can't get inside for a little while and take a look around. So join us. Let's find out what's next on our journey. We are back in the bad, bad lands. And what's bad about the bad lands? What really bugs you about the bad lands? All the bugs. Okay, are you ready to get that map sticker? We are going into North Dakota! Woohoo! There's a lot of history here. Tell us where we're at, honey. What's going on? Well, Medora is the southern entrance of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And the great news about that, unlike a lot of the national parks, there's not a long line. There isn't a need to get these day tickets. So apparently it's open 24 hours a day. It's about a 45 minute ride around the park. And we look forward to doing that after we get a taste of this beautiful town. Question. So I understand this is the Badlands, but you know, these days, Bad means good, so is this good or is this a bad place to be? This is a good place to be. Okay, of a, what uh, you... someone who became a president, he was what, from New York, and he called this place home, didn't he? He did. After he came here to hunt bison, he was, fell in love with the beauty and the crickets, supposedly. <laughs> Maybe, anyway, that is where the teddy bear comes from. I just saw the museum, and they have a lot of teddy bears there, and uh, let's go find out other reasons he fell in let's love. Check out. Let's look at all the things here. Wherever your eye looks, <laughs> there are things for tourism. These would be fun collectors. Not FDCs, but fun collectors here. Bird feeder, how clever is that? Fly, eagle, fly. It was here that the romance of my life began. Theodore Roosevelt. And this is where all good things start. Theodore Roosevelt National Park. At the age of 24, young Theodore Roosevelt was lured into the Badlands by an acquaintance promoting the area as prime rich lands. Upon arriving, he was quickly mesmerized by the otherworldly landscapes and natural beauty of the area. The clean air was also a great remedy for his chronic asthma. Theodore Roosevelt himself once said, I would not have been president had it not been for my experience in North Dakota. While many presidents have national park sites which bear their names, Theodore Roosevelt is the only president to have a national park named after him. Hey, look at all the prairie dogs out here. <laughs> knock knock, anybody home? An inquisitive animal's black-tailed prairie dog. You can see all the cute little prairie dogs. How adorable is that? They are everywhere. This one's posing. Look at that. Oh, there he goes. This 
ground seems to come alive here, doesn't it? <laughs> you think we have some grasshoppers around here? Meanwhile, look at the beautiful views we have. Over there would certainly be a good spot to stay out of the wind, wouldn't it, to be honkering down for the evening? Are you a happy camper? <laughs> it's a beaut. They may look like mountains, but land forms in the Badlands are buttes. And that's the rest of the story. Those, my friend, are buttes. That's a butte. You're a butte too. Don't look at my Wow. <laughs> As a backpacker, I can't help but think what a great place this would be to traverse. Yeah, I normally go down this, but <laughs> with just these on, I know backpackers will do it. So I guess I can try a little bit and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, well I made it down. Theoretically, it's easier to go up, isn't it? So let's see what happens. Oh, what's this over here? But wait, there's more. And this is kind of the way a lot of it looks here. This is um, a lot of sandstone, not that much sedimentary rock, but you can see some of it along here too. But it, that shale is crumbly at best. Gorgeous up here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, look at this cool video, Michael. Okay. That was a moment of truth right there. Well, they wanted to go down the steep part with just sandals on without hiking shoes. Loca in the cabeza. <laughs> Amen. Well, Grace, I think that is Mustang Sally and the whole herd. This is a trip over? Yes. Ask and you shall receive. There they are. National Park, check. We found a nice place to call home for the night and ponder on the many centuries of history in this bucolic place. Along with the serene beauty, we will leave you with this timely quote from Crazy Horse. I see a time of seven generations when all colors of mankind will gather under the sacred tree of life and the whole earth will become one circle again. Until next time. Happy trails to you until we meet again. That's all, folks.